everybody. Uh, this is Heidi from Hands Occupied here with another um, knitting video tutorial. Um, this is another uh, video tutorial designed for people who are brand new to knitting, um, who are knitting newbies. And um, today I'm going to show you how to do a knit stitch. Um, and right here in this swatch I'm holding, this is called a garter stitch swatch. So it looks the same on both sides. And once you do a whole bunch of knit stitch, your knitting will look just like this, and you will have learned how to do um, a garter swatch in knitting with all just one basic knit stitch. So super cool, let's get started. So right here I have got 10 stitches cast on um, with the method I showed in my how to do a beginner knitting uh, cast on uh, video. So what you're gonna do to do a knit stitch is hold the needle that has all of your loops on it in your left hand, your non-dominant hand. And then you're going to hold your naked needle in your right hand, your, you, your dominant hand. So what you do is you stab your needle front to back through the first loop on your cast on row, like this. And so your left hand needle is over the top of your right hand needle forming an X. And then what you'll do is bring your working yarn, the yarn that's attached to the ball of yarn, around your right hand needle and draw it back through. So you're wrapping it around and you have to catch it with that tip and draw it back through that first loop. And then if it's really loose, you might want to tighten it a little, but not too tight. Remember, too tight knitting is the enemy of beginning knitters. So let's show you that one more time. So the next loop, you'll take your right hand needle, go through it front to back, forming an X. Grab your tail, wrap it around, and bring it back through and off the end of the left needle. Right hand needle goes front to back through this first loop. Wrap the tail around the right hand needle, bring it back through and sweep it off the end. The needle goes front to back through the loop, tail around, bring it through, sweep it off the end. Front to back through the next loop, yarn around the tip, bring the needle back through that loop and off the end. So once you do a few more stitches of this, you'll have done an entire row, back through and sweep, front to back, yarn, oops, so this is a good example. When you accidentally pop the um, left hand loop to the right hand loop, but you didn't want to do it, you just go like that to sweep it back. So front to back, through the next loop, yarn over, sweep it through and off the tip, over, off the tip, and your last stitch to finish that row is over and off the tip. So now all those stitches that were on the left hand needle are now on the right hand needle and the whole swatch, even though it's tiny, is all on the next needle. So what you've got to watch out for when you're at this point, when you, when you go to start your next row, is not to knit with your cast on tail over here. You always need to remember to be working from the ball of yarn. So what you do when you get to the end of the row is flip your needle over, kind of like you're turning a book page backwards. Pick that up with your left hand, 
So all those loops on your, are on your left needle in your non-dominant hand, and you're ready to go again. And remember, don't, knit, don't try to knit with your cast on tail. Work from the ball. So let's do another row. Take your right hand needle, front to back, underneath your left hand needle, forming an X. Wrap your tail around, bring the needle back through that first loop, and sweep the first loop off the left hand needle. Again, front to back, under the left hand needle, wrap the yarn, bring it through, sweep the loop off the left needle. Front to back, forming an X, yarn, bring it back, sweep the left loop off. Front to back, yarn, bring it through, sweep it off. Front to back, yarn, pull it through, sweep it off. I don't know if this chant is annoying, but chants like this are what helped me learn to knit when I was like eight. My grandma had me do it. I guess it's a lot easier when you're learning to knit when you're eight to not feel silly doing a chant, but I think no one should be too proud to ever learn a new skill, ever. And if the chant helps you, do it. Front to back, yarn, bring it back, sweep it off. Front to back, yarn, bring it back, sweep it off. Front to back, yarn, bring it back, sweep it off. And there you have two rows already of garter stitch done. Bam. And so once you do a few more, it will look like this the same on both sides. So all those knit stitches are just lining up. And if you notice, if you made this maybe a little bit wider, you could just keep going. And in a few hundred more rows, A, you'll know how to knit really good, and B, you'll have a scarf already. And if you don't want a scarf, you can sew the ends together and have yourself a cowl, which I'm a huge fan of. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions or if the chant works for you or if it made you want to die. Um, thanks for watching, and um, again, I'm Heidi from Hands Occupied. Good luck!